Well, hello and welcome to a little video series um, about mathematics, especially the mathematics of tennis. Why tennis? Uh, it's a nice sport and uh, of course I like it and I play it sometimes. And you can count a lot of things, you can think about probabilities, probability theory, or you can think about statistics, and of course uh, game theory in some cases. So uh, I can cover a lot of topics uh, thinking about tennis that are relevant to mathematics. And um, before we start, uh, we have to think about the rules of tennis or how it is played. Uh, I assume everybody of you have uh, watched it on TV or maybe you've played it yourself. So tennis is a game between uh, two parties, uh, party A versus party B. And there's a net um, and th this is the playing field. Uh, it has some some lines on it. Okay, so on one side is player A and on the other side is player B. If you want to have names for the players, say uh, Anna from Serbia against uh, Belinda from Switzerland. Or you can choose Andy from uh, Scotland or the UK versus say Bernard from Australia. Okay. So um so two of them will play against each other other uh, Anna versus Belinda, Andy versus Bernard. And they can also play mixed doubles or doubles, whatever. The essential thing I want to say here is there are two parties, party A versus party B. And uh, the question is, how do we count in tennis? Counting scores. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, there's uh, okay. Tennis is played in points, so A can win a point, or B can win a point. There's no tie. You can always uh, you have to win or lose the point. Um, so this this is clear. So the points are given to the players, and if you want to win a game, you have to win uh, four points. And um, be two points ahead. So you have to be two points ahead. But they count it a little bit strange, so it's not zero, one, two, three points, and then the game. But it's uh, love, fifteen, thirty, forty, and then the game. But it it would be the same if you would count zero, one, two, three. But uh, they they don't do that. And um, if the standing, uh, if if the scoreboard shows forty, forty, then it's use and uh, then if one side uh, gets two points the next two points then this side will win and if uh, if not then they will play uh, as long as needed to get one party two points ahead so 40 40 might be uh, okay say Anna is uh, in her game against uh, Belinda and she has 40-40 score then uh, she wins the next point then she will have the advantage and if she wins the point when she has the advantage then she will win the game or but if she loses then it's again 40-40 then it's use again so and uh, of course on the other side if uh, Belinda gets the advantage and wins the next point she will also win the game. So uh, but uh, okay you can win a game but uh, what happens then uh, you have to win a 
set. How do you win a set? You have to win six games and be two games ahead. That means you can win uh, six to zero, six to one, and so on, six to four. Uh, seven to five is also possible. But uh, what happens if there is a six to six? Then uh, it won't be eight to six, but seven to six after a tie break. So one side uh, will win the tie break, and in the tie break, you have um, to win seven points. and be uh, two points ahead. So this will be played in, in points again. Okay, and in order to win a match, you have to win uh, two sets in the best of three version. Yeah. So uh, there will be played uh, two or three sets and you have to win two of them. So for example, um, uh, you win the first set. Okay, first set will be won by Anna and then uh, Belinda wins the second set. Then the third set has to decide who will win the match. So if it's Anna, then Anna wins. Uh, she's uh, she's written with one a n. So Anna wins, and um, if Belinda gets the third set, then Belinda wins. Okay, so it's quite easy. Of course, if a a, then we don't have to play a third set, and also not if there's b and b. So these are the possibilities to win a match uh, with two sets. Uh, there are also um, matches where you have to win three sets, for example in, um, in um, Davis Cup or Grand Slam for, for male players. But we will assume that you have to win two sets. Okay, so what is the, the probability to win a game or, or to win a match? That would be a, a nice question. So the first thing we will assume is um, that party A wins a set with probability P. And party B wins a set with probability Q. Probability Q. Okay, and um, of course, uh, if you know something about probabilities, Q has to be 1 minus P because it's not possible that a set is tied. So you know, one side has to win a set, and if she doesn't manage to do so, um, the other side will win. And uh, the question would be, um, what is the probability for A to win the match? and also for, for B. So this is uh, the question and uh, we will answer that question in, in the next uh, section of the video. So stay tuned.